What's going on everybody? Thanks for checking out the Almost Engineer channel and the Selenium Web's driver tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to click links on a page. So let's get to it. <clears throat> All right, so the main function of a website that you have to regularly do is to be able to click links on the page, whether that's links down here on the categories or you know, in the main body, wherever they are, you have to be able to click them. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And so I'll actually go and click several links on, well, we'll set up WebDriver to click several links, including some of these down here in the footer of the page so that you can get a feel for how to do those things. So going back to Eclipse, I'm going to code this in a new class and if you want a copy of this code it will be available on my github repository a link to the repository will be available in the description below so I've taken the same set of information from the previous tutorials where we're setting up the system properties as well as opening a new Firefox driver and navigating to the almost engineer.com and then the next thing we're going to do, so I'm going to use Chrome to navigate around the website. So we want to be able to click a link. So let's say we want to go to the technology section. So I'm going to right click and click inspect. And so we have a couple of options. You can do XPath, which is slightly more difficult. However, I prefer to do by link text or partial link text. And so the link text for this particular link, as you see here, is the word technology. So I'm going to go back to my web driver code and do driver dot find element by link text. And then I'm going to insert the word technology, which is corresponds to this link here and that particular thing. And then I'm going to also add in a dot click. And so this will click the technology link. All right, and then once you click the technology link, we're gonna manually do this so that we can build the code out. And then once we build the code out, then we'll actually run the automation. All right, so I wanted to go down and click the set time zone on an Ubuntu server. So I right clicked and did inspect again. And so this time I'm going to actually use the partial text. And so, going to do same similar method driver dot find element by and this time I'm going to do partial link text and so I'm going to do that dot click and so to comment I'm gonna put that comment there and so this is the full text the full link uh, text that is contained there as you see here over on the side bar and so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually take out part of this. So I'm going to take out the 1804 and server. And so what will happen is when you use partial link text, it will compare what's inside of the brackets here. So the oh, ending of the opening part and before the closing part. And if it sees any, the first occurrence of this that it sees that matches this, it will click on it. And you'll see that coming up here in the demonstration. And so once you do that, so you want to simulate clicking on that. All right. And then we'll simulate clicking on gardening. So I'm going to do inspect again. And so as you see here, there, this has a title associated with it. So in this one, I'm actually going to, that is not what I meant to do. So I'm actually going to, ah, come on. All right, let me see. All right, there we go. So I'm trying to copy this. So I'm actually going to click it by the X path for this particular one. All right, and so I'm going to do that. And so gardening link by X path. It's going to do driver dot find element. Same, same strategy by X path. And so in this particular X path, we're going to have to, I'm going to go ahead and put my dot click there. All 
All right, and so this XPath expression has to be enclosed in quotes. And so start it with a double slash and then A and then the opening bracket. And so your A is the anchor tag, which is the equivalent of the A that's right here. And then going to do at href and that knows that the at sign indicates that is pointing to an attribute of the a tag so we're looking at the href and we want it where it's equal to and then i'm using single quotes to do that and then single quotes to close it followed by a closing brace now i have to clean this up since i copied it directly from the site so i'm actually need to remove all of that and so there we are so we have our anchor tag, which is a at href equals category slash gardening. And then we're going to close and do dot click. And then I can go down here to the bottom of the page because all these links that I'm doing now are pretty far up on the page, but I can show you that you can actually do stuff at the bottom of the page as well. And so I'll do one more with the link text. So driver dot find element by uh, these do not have IDs, but if they did have an ID, you could use that as well. Um, so by link text and FAQ, and we wanted to dot click and that's it. All right. And so I'm going to do click FAQ link. And then this will click the gardening. And then this will click time zone article. All right. So just to recap before we run, we're setting our property to point to the Gecko driver where we installed it. We are opening Firefox browser. We're going to the almost engineer.com. We're going to click on the technology link. And then we're going to look for a link that contains set time zone on Ubuntu. And we're going to click that. And then we're going to look for a link that has the href attribute to category slash gardening. And then we're going to click that. And then lastly, we're going to click the FAQ link and click that. And I'm going to do something that I did not do. And that is to quit. So once we get done, we will close the browser out. All right, so we're gonna run this as debug so we can see our output down here at the bottom. I'm gonna update this to tutorial four and here we go. All right, so everything is starting up. All right, navigating to the Almost Engineer. All right, technology. And once the page finished loads, loading, then it will go to the next element. All right. And so it looks like we ran into an exception. And so as you see, if we go back to the debugging, um, what did we hit? All right, so 04. All right, so it was not able to find the X path for this particular element. So it looks like there's an exception with that. So we have to double check it. Okay, we have to click cancel. I'm not sure what happened there. Looks like it tried to click something else instead of that, which I'm not sure where it would have found. So maybe there's another occurrence of time zone on this page. Ah, so it found this particular link, which is the link to the YouTube video. So I might need to actually go in here and pick a true article that does not have a video in it. So let's go back um, because downloading files are completely different. All right. So I'll click this set it to click this first one, which is change the battery and the Nissan Ultima intelligent key. All right. So let's uh, close the browser and have it quit and stop that process. And we're going to change this to from, I'm going to leave that line here, but comment it out and intelligent, intelligent key article. 
But I can spell it, right? Okay. And IG key. Did I spell that right? I believe I did, but let me go back and confirm on our other page. So, because you don't want that to mishap. So, yes, intelligent key. So, I'll just copy that part. Um, that should not be, I don't believe that's anywhere else on the page. But we can double check and confirm by doing a find. And we see, oh, there's two occurrences of it. Where's the second occurrence? Okay, it's over here on the side. So, this article points to this same thing here, it's just in two different places. So, that is fine for what we're building right here. All right, so I'm going to actually disable this one and leave it in there for future reference um, in case you decide to review the code. Uh, so, all right, so now we'll be clicking the intelligent key link. So here we go. And I'm gonna start it up again. And so as I mentioned, it will click the element once the page has finished loading. And so as you see, I have a various other elements from Google on here that it is searching for. All right, so we now have another exception that's being thrown. Let's go back. So line 22 is not still not able to find this gardening link, okay? Um, which is kind of a problem. So let's work on debugging that. So what is it seeing in the href? I may be missing. Oh, okay. So it has an opening slash slash. So it starts with an opening slash and then a category instead of just category as what I have here. So I need to correct that. All right. And then I'm going to save and restart all right so it's going to fire back up again and let's see if we can actually get through it this time now that we've made that correction all right the page is still loading all right there goes gardening page is still loading all right, and it went down and found the FAQ at the bottom of the page. Page is still loading. And now it's done and completed successfully. So, no errors outside of that. And it got through all the way through with a clean termination and exit code of zero. So that means this one passed. All right. So I was not planning on doing debugging, but you got a little bit of debugging, as you see from us you know, finding out that this link actually did not click the very first occurrence, but it did click an occurrence of the link on the page. And so that link actually was a direct download to the video instead of the article on the website. So you'll just have to be sure that when you're setting up your links, you are able to clearly distinguish between the two. Um, so in this case scenario, I think this one may have a little bit different. And so yeah, so like this one, it has a URL uh, pointing to YouTube. So you can kind of use that as a guidance if you have two links with exactly the same text like I do here. But as you see in the bottom left there, this one points to YouTube, whereas this one points to another page on this site. So if you do have two links on the site with the same text in it, then you'll want to switch to using one of the tags. So in this case, like how I did the XPath, you can use the XPath with the href tag to specify which link that you want to click. So hopefully this video has given you insights on how to click links in Selenium WebDriver. If you've learned anything, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or have any issues with trying to figure out how to set up links or can't identify links on what you're trying to build, drop a comment in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at almost E-N-G-R. Thank you.